One year from bottling, it's time to taste the barley wine. She is right. This has been one year, April 30th. So it's it's like a couple days short of a year, but close enough. This is our barley wine that um, is 9.3%. Let's see, does it have the pop? Oh yeah. It does. Now, for those of you who are confused by the terminology of it being a barley wine, this is basically a beer. It's just a higher ABV beer. So yes. that's that's the basic difference between a barley wine and a beer. It's just it's a legality thing. It's there's there's still beer. Just pour it a little bit for tasting. Now, we liked this when it was new. Someone told us, let it age for a year and you'll love it. So we thought... Start okay. off with the color. It is dark. Brian equates all things beer. Dark means good. Yeah, so, this is already good. <laughs> I, already, I already know that this is, this is fantastic. So right there. The uh, carbonation worked beautifully. I see bubbles coming up. Yeah, the color is wonderful. It's got that rich brown, like mahogany type color it's just really really rich and then the aroma smells like a dark dark beer it's got that deep earthy grainy now as i recall there was goodness. there was a, a slight weirdness in the recipe in that i over hopped by mistake ah yes i didn't really mean to but it did happen so um i can smell hops and i'm not it's not objectionable in this particular beer it actually worked out well um, so a lot of people that like stouts like them because they don't have a lot of hops in them. This one may be a little hoppy for a stout or a barley wine, so we'll find out. Um, now this ended up at a 9.3 ABV, so yes, that's a bit higher than your typical beer, so that puts it in the wine range. But a lot of barley wines are like 11s and 12s too, so it's actually on the slightly lower side for a barley wine, sure. but it's still technically a barley wine. You ready for the short? She's already going in for the short set. Ooh. The thing I'm really starting to enjoy about these home brewed beer type beverages is the mouthfeel. It has that mm. creamy yep. mouthfeel. I really enjoy it. This one, the carbonation is just right. It's not overly carbonated. Like a lot of dark beers tend to not be highly carbonated. The hops is rather prevalent. I'm not saying it's necessarily bad, but it is more prevalent than most dark beers, making it taste kind of lighter than it is. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't taste like a heavy beer, um, but all the flavors come through. Every every one of the flavors comes through. This this was supposed to have some chocolate in it, and I definitely get chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the chocolate flavor definitely came through in that. Doing a long sip, <laughs> not even wasting any time. Oh. Those of you who are health conscious or just like shakes, maybe big into the protein based shake mixtures. The smoothie things. I happen to be one of those people and I really enjoy it when they have chocolate or peanut butter added to them so they have that thick luscious texture with those chocolate notes and, and that's the experience I'm getting oh, from yeah. this barley wine it's 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 very soothing it's very comforting mm -hmm. and I'm getting those cocoa notes in it which is making it even more appealing to me I taste dark chocolate yeah. that's what it tastes yeah. like yeah. dark chocolate it has that slight bitterness from the hops it's not a sweet chocolate, but there's definitely the chocolate flavor there. Combined with the um, the malty notes, it's it's actually really, really wonderful. I like this a lot. <clears throat> so normally we start talking about uh, food pairings at this point. And Any freaking thing you want. I, I think it would be perfect, particularly for something more on the fatty side. Mm -hmm. Summer barbecue, burgers and oh, hot dogs, yeah. Um, yeah. ribs. Stuff like that. I think grilled food when I think of this. Yeah. But at the same token, this could be at home with a steak. It could be at home with... A really um, deep stew. Yeah. Would be nice. Yeah. Hearty comfort style foods. Um, for the most part, I think this works really well with. And 
And as far as Chili. cooking with it, I think it could be used in cooking, particularly yeah. in the aforementioned stew or chili. I could make that into an awesome barbecue sauce. Yep. Or put it in chili or put it with corned beef and cabbage. Or oh, yeah. Any, any number of things like that. So it works really well for cooking with and for eating with food. As for drinking it alone, oh, hell yeah. Just pour that in a mug and sit back and enjoy. Yep. That's good stuff. This this just came out really, really nice. Um, what's next? Oh, we have to put numbers. The numbers. Are you ready for a score? Now, this is really difficult for me because I typically don't get overexcited about beer-like products. But for some reason, this is really resonating with me today. It, it might just be my particular mood, and I'm just looking for something... See, I'm, I'm comparing this to beers we've had and beers we've made. Different? Um, now, remember our rating system. One means it's possibly toxic and something you <laughs> probably wouldn't give to even your worst enemy. Okay? Five means, yeah, it's good. Five is something that we would reach for and drink. So, basically, five means it's good. Okay? Anything above five means it's good and in varying levels of good. Ten means... Based on the recipe that it is, which this is a chocolate barley wine, there's nothing I would change, okay, if I was to redo it. And it's even beyond that. It is like the pinnacle of what your brain can come up with for this beverage type. Yeah. It's like on a pedestal, shining brightly amongst the stars. <laughs> the angels are singing. There's trumpets somewhere. I don't know. That kind of thing. Okay. Do you need more? Do you need more time? Or do you have a number? I'm debating between two. I got a number. All right. One, two, three, eight. eight. I'm not surprised that we both said that, but I think we said eight for different reasons. And because she is the lady of the house, I will let her go first. All right. I picked eight because this has elevated my opinion of beer type beverages. Yep. To me, <laughs> this is one of those surprise, hey, you like this and you weren't anticipating to like it so much. And not only were you not anticipating to like it so much, but now it is stuck in your memory. <laughs> it's a little, little pin in the map of all the things that you want to try. And so you're going to remember and go, hey, where's that barley one? Because I want some now. So because I had that slightly biased Beer is meh, and this made it go, beer is something you might actually want to look for. I elevated my score. Now, I didn't go skyrocketing to the atmosphere numbers because it's not my typical wheelhouse. Right. But if, if I want to just chill and relax, I can drink barley wine. If I want to pair something with a really rich, hearty, fatty meal... I could drink some barley wine. If I want to cook something and bump it up just that new dimension, I can add some barley wine. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Now, it, what's interesting is she bumped her number up to eight. I bumped my number down to eight. <laughs> because I was looking at this as, from a perfection standpoint, what would be changed? First, it's too hoppy. The hops is too strong for me. I, I think this would be far improved with a third or a fourth the hops that it has. So that's my opinion there. I think the chocolate flavor could be heightened a bit more. I would have liked it to go a little bit higher in ABV. So all those things together make it more a barley wine for me. For me, this is a nice uh, porter, really. It's not so much a barley wine as, as I would understand it as it is a porter or even a stout. But that hops... That, and literally did cut two points off. That's how hoppy this became. And somebody actually warned me about that. They said that. And I was aware. I, I, I knew as soon as I made it and then we made the video, I, went, oh, I, I read that wrong. What it is, is, I had the recipe all written out and I read the recipe wrong. I moved a decimal point and that changed everything. So um, yeah, not really good. So while it's not bad, it's actually quite good. I'm Basically, I gave it an 8 despite the fact that it has that much hops because normally this would be much lower for me. I don't like IPAs. It's just not my thing. I know some people really love them. They're not my thing. Um, but that changes this just a little bit for me, and that's why I went down from a 10 to an 8, um, if that makes any sense. I 
would have to agree that if it was less hoppy and more chocolatey, this would definitely elevate it for yeah, me as well. It would be richer and smoother and creamier and just all in all better. It does come across very light for what it is, though, because of the hops. So it does lend some advantage, which makes me wonder, like, would it really be that much better? Or are we just imagining that? And that's why it got an 8 and not a 6 and not a 10. So there we go. Um, but overall, I would say this was a successful recipe. And if you like IPAs, you will love this because it's very reminiscent of an IPA as far as the hops, but it also has the strong malty Hardiness. notes yeah. of a stout. So yeah. it's kind of like an IPA stout. I don't even think that's a thing. But <laughs> it, it's kind of like that. And um, it's something that, you know, maybe someday we'll revisit again and um, do it again. The problem is me drinking beer right now isn't really the best thing. So that's why I have just small amounts. But, you know, we can open a bottle and enjoy it over four or five days. <laughs> so it's not so horrible. Um, but if you like this video, look up. There's another one up there. You might like that one too.